10 News starts right now. Right now at 4.30, it's been more than two years since a New Year's Day crash that left four people dead. The teen charged taking a plea deal today. Alex Garcia was driving drunk back in 2021 when he hit another car, killing everyone inside. And today he was sentenced to time in prison. Local 10's Leanne Morihong is live with details on this. Leanne. He will spend time in prison, but Alex Garcia essentially gave himself a second chance by taking this plea, avoiding what might have been an entire lifetime behind bars. This is what you did. You. Corporal Christine Gracie of the Florida Highway Patrol speaking sternly and passionately to a now 18 year old Alex Garcia at his plea hearing. You don't deserve the right to call this tragedy an accident. Even directing part of her statement to Garcia's mother. You knew he didn't have a license. You knew he had been drinking and by your own admission, you gave him the keys. Shame on you. Garcia will spend the next 14 years in state prison and 10 more under supervision after pleading guilty to four charges of DUI manslaughter and two charges of DUI with serious injury. He said this was the right thing to do and I think that takes a lot of courage. The deadly crash happened around four in the morning on January 1st, 2021. The investigation found the then 16 year old took his mom's Chevy Tahoe while drunk and high and drove 110 miles an hour down Flagler Street. The SUV plowed into to a Hyundai Elantra killing the driver Julia Gelatz and passengers Christian Mohip, Andres Zacharias and Jenzer Salazar. We've never been the same. Nothing has ever been the same. Some of the victims loved ones made statements before the court. Some people tell me to forgive. I'll never forgive you. See this that you decided to do that me was 100% preventable. <laughs> sister of Andres Zacharias mentioned multiple incidents of vandalism to the victims' memorials and grave sites, which have only added to their pain. Garcia's attorney says his client denounces those acts. Him nor his family have any connection to the vandalism. Um, they condemn it. Garcia did not make any public statement and neither did his family, who left in silence after the hearing. It goes on and on and on for him, not us, not them. And a special condition of this plea deal was that he must donate $100 for, to the Crime Victims Fund every year that he remains under supervision. Reporting live in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Such a tragedy. Thank you, Leanne.